We've all heard about the great Pacific garbage patch. Is it what we think it is? So the great Pacific garbage patch really is a misnomer. It's not a patch. It's not a mass. It's nothing you can see from space. All these things one's heard. But in fact, it's just a giant soup, a gyre, a, a whirlpool of plastic in the ocean at various depths. So it's not as if you can stand on this garbage patch. It's not, it's not an island of garbage. Just to the north of these islands lies a convergence zone of currents that cause plastics to accumulate in that area. When I went through it on my own sailboat, I saw lots of things floating in the water. A large derelict fishing net, a ghost net, or I might see a bottle or a crate. And then also you have stuff like uh, sticks and wood also collecting in this, in this garbage patch. Even if the debris isn't a floating mat of trash, even if it's more dispersed than that, it could still hold an enormous amount of plastic. Even if you're in the middle of the garbage patch, you often can't see the plastic because it's below the surface. But that's not all of it. It's only part of what's, what's in the garbage patch. Mm. They're very small fragments of what were bigger pieces of plastic. Plastics that are in the ocean are exposed to a lot of different factors. They're exposed to ultraviolet radiation from the sun, they're exposed to wave action, they're exposed to reefs and rocks, sand, and so there are a lot of things that are contributing to these plastics breaking down into smaller pieces. You know, the plastics spread out, uh, it's under the surface. It's not an easy thing to mop up. If it were a garbage island, I think it, it, it probably would be much easier to clean up. <laughs>